Hey everybody, Randy here in the Eastwood Garage um, with Matt today, who's going to demonstrate our cut and weld system. You can see we've got it set up right here. But as always, if you have any questions, Scotty C's over here. He's going to be taking all your questions. Scotty, how's it going? Not bad. I'm just hanging out underneath our new gantry crane over here. Yeah, I see the uh, chain dangling yep, there. Yep, dangling away over here. But if you guys have any questions, as always, Facebook and YouTube, make sure you ask them so we can get you answered right here live. So let's talk about this cut and weld, guys. Yeah, if, if, if you've been watching um, our, our live videos, yesterday we went live, uh, we were yanking the engine out of Ryan's 79 Ford pickup truck. So you saw that crane. They're in stock at Eastwood. So if you're looking for one, check out eastwood.com. You can check them out there. A lot of new cool products like this cut and weld. It's been out most of the summer. As you can see, it has a door on it. A lot of you guys are using, if you're doing restorations, you've got work stands. There's our 750 pound work stand. We've got a car door on it. Matt's been uh, doing videos showing you how to shave a door handle. You've seen him go live the last few weeks uh, on that demonstration. And we're actually putting together a complete video that's gonna show you how to shave a door handle. So, um, but I guess we gotta get this off of here and really yeah. demonstrate the cut mm -hmm. and weld. Yeah, right. so we were literally using this to shoot the video to uh, do the, the door handle shaving. This is a great thing. So we're using it as a fender stand, obviously, already, or a body panel stand. And we can put this out of the way. So the great thing about the cut and weld is that uh, you can use one of our 750-pound uh, capacity work stands like this, or it does fit pretty much any uh, inch and a quarter round um, tubing uh, body stand like this that a lot of you guys probably have uh, these are made to fit that so the great thing is is that we have there's slots on one side here like so and on the other side there's hardware the pins that we have that you put in and that's what keeps it actually hanging on the uh, the fender stand here or the work stand and you can just basically slide it down like this we'll turn our welder on get it all set up get some tubing and uh, this has little one inch slots here so you guys can run if you're uh if you want to yeah so clamp something down which is why it's a welding table so if you're if you're doing something in the middle you know if you've got a long clamp you're fine but as you can see it isn't enough so you can get so you can get your clamp down in there uh oh so you can get your clamp down in there did i grab the wrong clamp yeah the welding clamps huh? the the uh the welding clamps that we offer like for fixturing tables and things like that fit in between there i not grab the wrong i grabbed the wrong clamps so, uh oh, uh oh. All right, so we're gonna keep. We'll keep moving. I mean, Matt must have grabbed the wrong clamps today. I don't use clamps. Scott, why? Scott, <laughs> one responsibility today was grabbing the correct clamps. It was Scott's problem, actually. I was. Uh oh, we're gonna weld here. Someone's Joe. gotta be the scapegoat. Yeah, I mean, I was actually gonna be the nice guy and just take the blame, but really, it was it was Scott's fault. So, um, <laughs> yeah. It's actually not near review time, so I probably don't have to buy about that. What are you following me around for? It's good. We're welding. It's the whole cut and weld system. So the table's quick, easy. You can set it up. 14-gauge uh, steel it's made out of, so it's good for doing, you know, light, medium duty. Um, if you're, you know, obviously has a, a, the capacity of the work stand, um, you're not going to be laying frames or anything across it generally. But for doing uh, work like this, it's really great. If you have a mobile welding, uh, if you're uh, somebody that's doing work on the job site or something like that, this is great because you can fold it up, throw it in the truck, swing this over, and you're, and you're ready to go with the welding part of it. Um, or if you have a small shop and you don't have a lot of room, you can fold this up, uh, put it out of the way. So you've got three uses uh, right in one, one item that you can, uh, you can put away. And I'll do a couple more sparks for you guys. Pack this up. So now if we want to cut something apart, it's quick and easy. So the way this is designed with the spacing of the, uh, of the hooks here, this is made so you can keep everything all together and we can... It saves a lot of space, especially in a small garage. Yeah, so we could swing this out in a way and we can swing the plasma table up. So the plasma table has these removable slats here. Uh, you can either flip them around, you can completely remove them and replace them. We offer replacements. It's got a 12 gauge steel frame in it. So it's a nice heavy duty frame and you can cut right through it. So if we want to cut, we got a piece. And the nice thing is that you can cut right yeah. up on top of it as opposed to having to cut off the edge, having a big piece right. of steel fall and dent your concrete floor. And then like you said, you know, the, since you're cutting right on them, they'll get 
they'll get slits in them, but you can flip them over, use the other side, and then just get more at Eastwood, or you could get some at a, at a, at a metal supply store as well, a machine shop. Yeah, but these last quite a while. I mean, you got to really, for, for an average guy like you or I, this is going to be years worth of cutting before yeah. you're going to have to actually replace the slots because you can move them around. You can, you know, go at different spots. Um, so it's not really an issue. We'll go on the end here. So, and I'm going to switch over to my glasses. Got a plasma shades. These are not acceptable to use for the Eclipse. Yes. We're getting tons of phone calls about the, uh, the welding shades for the Eclipse. Any kind of Eclipse, really. They're not yeah. dark enough for the one with the sun, but if you want to look at a Mitsubishi. You need you something really, darker. They're, you they're, don't want to see it at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't particularly <laughs> love seeing those. Now, if it's one from Fast and the Furious, I might like to see that, see how it aged. All right, so we're going to call you. Oh, and Scott loves taking phone calls about the Eclipse, so definitely yeah. give him a call. <laughs> He studied up on the Eclipse, so he would love to uh, talk to you guys about the Eclipse and what shade to use yes. on, your, uh, on your welding shade <laughs> to watch the Eclipse. What, right. what, what shade? According to all our customers? Oh, I was, yep, now's not a good time. <laughs> so as you can see, we went right over the slot, to one of these slats here. And I don't know. Cut if it right off. Yeah. Cut the piece off. And Joe, if you want to come in, you can just see to show them this one as well as any of these other ones. But you can see all it ends up doing is usually leaving a little, like a little nick, uh, a little nick in it. Yeah, is exactly it. Um, you're, normally, you're not sitting in one spot since these are so thin. You're not sitting in one spot for a long time, so it's not really. I mean, this is the damage that happens. It is sacrificial, but overall, it's going to take a lot of cutting to even have to replace these slots or slats rather, so you're going to be, uh, you're going to be fine with this for, for many years. Um, so then when we're done, take this off, we'll flip it over. Any questions? Yeah, Scott, do we have any questions? Sure. Uh, one of the questions we had so far was the uh, weight rating on the stand that, that you're using right now for the cut and weld. And that one's going to be our 750 pound work stand. So you can hold doors, hoods, tailgates, you name it, perfect for that. Or in this case, welding and plasma cutting. Yeah. And it folds up. We could fold it up here, put, put it, it out of the way. Side. A cool little thing I saw, I was, I was like looking at the reviews and on, on social media, some of the guys, what they're doing because of the weight is putting little J hooks from the hardware store and putting it on the, putting it on the wall so that when it's, it's standing up because of the weight now of these two stands, because they are pretty heavy duty, it tends to want to open up. And if you lean it against the wall, it, you know, so you can put little J hooks on the wall. That's going to keep it clamped together yeah. so that it stays that way and it's not wanting to open up on you. So. We can basically just take it, pick it up, move it over here. And if you got something like the blast cabinet here, that's got a little bit of weight to it, so it's going to keep it from opening up on itself. But this is usually where we keep it stored. Like so. Smooth. Smoother than me and the uh, clamps. <laughs> But so. that's, that's our cut and weld. Uh, you, can, uh, you can actually buy the tops separately. So if you really only think you need the welding one right now, and then you get one of our plasma cutters, you can add it on. It doesn't take any mm -hmm. modifications. The only thing is, like Randy showed you guys, when you take the foam, you can put a slit in the bottom so you can pull it on and off and continue to use that when you're putting body panels or something you don't want to scratch it. So it's really no, no actual modifications. It's just something you bolt right onto a stand you either have or one of the affordable ones that we have on the website. Well, before we get out of here, I guess we'll check in with Scotty C to see if he... Any more, any more questions over there, Scott? The two questions were just uh, what units were we running today? We have the uh, MiG-135. 175. 175. 175. Yep. Okay, from over here, I can't quite read it. My vision's not that good. And then <laughs> down the bottom is definitely the, the Versa Cut 40. Versa Cut 40 yeah, is on, on the bottom and the MiG-175 on the top. Mm -hmm. And if anybody is interested in videos in any of them, that we have videos all over. We have probably, I don't know, we have 1,500 videos down on our YouTube channel. Lots of instructional videos and product demonstrations. So if you want to see them in use or more videos in the cut and weld, uh, we have them there as well. So Yeah, and I think uh, Fab Forms, if any of you guys follow that popular oh, yeah. YouTube channel, we sent him one of those to let him, because he's got a smaller shop and he's always kind of trying to move stuff around. We sent one of those over to him. So he just put a video up about a week ago. I think it's been out mm -hmm. now. 
uh, that he actually showed you guys putting it together and his review on it. So you guys can see a little bit more on that as well if uh, you want to learn more about this. That's that's a recent video yeah. that's been put out. It's just it's a uh, it's just if you just search Fab Forms on YouTube, yep. you'll find it. He's got a lot of videos. Kyle does, and he, he gives a pretty good review of the cut and weld. And I'm sure you're, you'll see him use it more in some upcoming videos. Good. So well, thanks a lot for the demo, Matt. Yep. If that's it, um, don't forget every Monday and Wednesday at three o'clock Eastern time. And we're also just trying to come uh, to you live throughout the day as we work on projects like the 79 Ford pickup, where we're uh, putting a whole new engine in it and we're using all of our specialty coating. So I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks, Matt.